Hi, it's Malcolm here and welcome to another PR Ratings Update video. It's been a while since I've actually done one. I don't know why, I just haven't got around to doing um, one for a little while. Now, if you're interested in PR Ratings, please like the video or share it or or join the channel because you'll keep updated when I do do these videos and my plan is to actually do a few more. Now this is probably somewhere around the 40 or 50th update since um, I launched the PR ratings. This is version 3 now we're on, um, which includes a results feed and it includes the analytics um, quick tool, um, which I'll just go over quickly in a minute. So what's new in this latest version um, well if you haven't seen the video for a while there's a lot new but I'm just going to go over what I've actually put in since um, just before Christmas when I, I did another update um, basically I added in the last update um, a days of the week filter now when I added that one you could only choose either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday um, I've now done it so you can multi choose so you can choose more than one um, so if you only want to bet on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays you can do or if you only want to find out the information about those three three or four days you can do now a lot of people have asked me about that particular filter what's the point well funnily enough there are some systems that just seem to work on certain days of the week I don't know why and um, you have to be careful with it though because often you don't get a lot of um, samples um, to a to to give you really good feedback, um, it's also a really good way of testing um, systems. You know, if you've got an overall system that seems to be working really well, well, if you test it on different days, it will sort of give you, you know, an idea of whether you're just in a a lucky run, um, and maybe um, because several of the days are showing no profit, it it could be that overall that system may may go downhill eventually so it's a good way of doing a random testing if you like on days of the week um, so what else did I add to this month well I've, I've made some changes in the main fa interface just to free up some extra space for some new filters I've got coming along um, but basically there's not much happened on the main screen I've now added in last three as one of the quick analyze now if you don't know what quick analyze is basically it allows you to look at um, information very very quickly so if I was to select just AW races and first um, or favorite at 6 a.m. in the morning and, and update that um, then I can go to say well okay so if we look at um, last time out sorry I just need to untick a couple of these as well so we can have a look at them um, just so you've got some information but if we looked at say um, last time out you, you can do it, do it just basically by clicking on these links it will tell you you know like minus two they've never run before there's no profit there and there's no profit on a lot of these but you know there's a small sample there that's showing the profit um, but it's a quick way of, of looking at statistics so you could look at the weight rank what's the most profitable or sometimes I just use it to get a good understanding of strike rate so here again the samples are re relatively small but um, for um, weight rank of 3 there's 96 we had 36 wins we've got a strike rate of 37.5% um, so you know that's something that you might want to look out for and it, as it's AW you probably go you could look at the courses as well and see what the most profitable courses were so challenge would see is relatively newer course um, and it seems to have a lot of selections actually for, for that particular one um, and it's showing a profit where the others are not I mean Warhampton has loads of races and there's no profit there so it's a quick way of analyzing some of the information without having to go through um, one by one if you like so you could look at um, you could do it a number of ways, but I won't go into that now. Um, so I've added um, last three. That's the last three results added together. Um, so you can see um, whether that's you can find some profitable um, systems that way. I also added in a day forward now and a day back. So you can automatically, by clicking that, you can look back and test your skills over a number of days. Um, if you get version three anyway, you get 
um, the full results. You actually get a shorter results feed here, um, but then you get the longer results. So you, if you click that, it will give you a full results feed for um, quite a few months back. In this case, 2014. It depends on the information you're asking for, um, and then you've got, you've got trending results as well. These are pretty cool. If you go to the trending results, you can see what the strike rate's been doing over time, the price has been doing over time, and then the both together over time. So that's quite interesting. So in this particular case, the strike rate dropped right down um, over several over a couple of months, but then has picked up again. The price done exactly the same. So that's an interesting thing that you know at certain times of year well there were no selections or there were no wins in that month which dropped everything down but um it's a way of looking at the information in a slightly different way so um but yeah going backwards and forwards so you can go backwards through the dates and forward through the dates without having to come up here and keep changing them to look back if you want to um uh, i think that's about it Oh yeah, the last thing I did was um, I added win percentage to the sorting um, filter, so you can sort by different um, types of information, and I added highest or lowest, so you can sort by the highest or sort by the lowest. Um, so let's just start that again, and we can see. So if we wanted to sort by... Um, say early rank, um, 6 a.m. rank, and we want it the highest first, not the lowest. Then we change it around, so we've got the highest ranked runner. Maybe if you're looking at those, you want to have a look at it that way. So that was the uh, um, other thing I did. So days of the week, sorry, I've gone and highlighted everything. Um, days of the week, um, one day forward, one day back, um, the win percentage, last three combined for quick analysing, and I've made room for some new filters. Okay, well, thanks for watching. As I said, if you like the video, please like it, um, join the YouTube channel, and I'll put a link um, where you can download um, a way of um, finding lays using PR ratings, or actually using just a daily paper. Um, if you follow the link, it'll show you how you can download that um, PDF and, and video to show you how to do it. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.